So now dealing with triangles that are not right triangles, we can't go back to Pythagorean theorem or to Sokotoa to solve these. We need to use the cosine law for now. Uh, there will be some triangles that we'll encounter later on where the cosine law is not possible to use, and we'll deal with those when we get to the sine law later. Uh, what we know is we have a surveyor trying to find the length of a swamp, uh, sets up a transit, which is just a tool used for measuring distances. She measures the distance to one end of the swamp as 468.2 meters, distance to the opposite end as 692.6, .6, and the angle between the two is 78.6 we need to determine the length of the swamp. So the swamp would be something like this. Not 100% accurate, but that's not the point here. The point right now is to draw a diagram to describe this situation. She would have set up the transit at some point over here. We'll call it A. The distance to one end, 468.2 meters, sorry. The distance to the other end, 692.6. And the angle between the two, 78.6 degrees. What we're being asked to find is the length of the swamp. Now, in order to use the cosine law, we need to potentially rearrange the labeling on this triangle. Uh, we will always be asked to find either one side or one angle, and that must be C. So we need to call the side we're trying to find C, which means a relabeling of point A as point C. The other two sides don't matter. We can label them A and B however we wish. So the other two angles, not the two sides. Once we do that, we've locked in the labeling of the sides because the side that's opposite from angle A must be little a, so that must be 692.6 .6 here. The side opposite angle B must be little b, that's 468.2. So knowing this, we can go ahead and substitute into the cosine law. I'm just going to clear off the page to do that. It is c squared equals a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cosine c. Substituting in what we know, we don't know c. We do know a, it's 692.6. That is squared. We know B, it's 468.2. That is also squared. Minus 2. We have A again at 692.6. .6. B again, 468.2. Cosine of angle C, which is 78.6 degrees. Going ahead and working out some of this, we'll do 692.6 .6 squared gives us 479,694.76. 468.2 squared is 219,211.24. I'm not going to simplify the next term completely. All I'm going to do is calculate out cosine of 78.6. Please make sure your calculator is in degree mode. If it's in radian mode, you will not get the right answer. You need degree mode since we're measured in degrees. Uh, cosine of 78.6 is 0 0.197. 
3404. I'm just going to copy down these first two terms. And then I'll work out the last one. 2 times 692.6 times 468.2 times 0.197, etc. would give us minus 128,190.794. Combining all those terms on the right will give us 570,715.2054. We need to take the square root of both sides to get C isolated. Question has asked for the answer to the nearest tenth of a meter, so that would be one decimal place. So 755.5 meters would be the length of this swamp.